Hey everyone, Dave Keys, real estate SEO expert here to talk about something near and dear to my heart, uh, especially since all the social media gurus will tell you that uh, the more likes, follows, comments, etc., plus ones, followers, all that, that you get, the more that your particular uh, Facebook or Twitter page or Google Plus property or whatever you have is going to rank in Google because you have all these followers and likes and interaction there on the social network and uh, well let's get this straight from the horse's mouth today from Matt Cutts head of Google's web spam team who will deliver this news about that particular vein of thinking that in fact all that correlating data on the social network really can't be seen very well by Google and is not that reliable and they don't even take it into account they take in something else into account how they rank those pages here it is from Matt Cutts um, Facebook and Twitter uh, pages are treated like any other pages in our web index and so if something's you know occurs on Twitter or occurs on Facebook and we're able to crawl it then we can return that in our search results but as far as doing special specific work to sort of say oh you have this many followers on Twitter or this many likes on Facebook to the best of my knowledge we don't currently have any signals like that in our web search ranking algorithms and let me talk a little bit about why not now Matt's going to go on in a very long explanation about privacy, about people who unfollow people and block people and things like that. And that's the reason, um, and, and that they were blocked from one network. And I figure that's probably, uh, well, I don't know, but I suspect it's Facebook where it, it's pretty closed. And so there are areas they couldn't even crawl for a month and a half, he said, or something to that length, um, making the engineers leery for whatever reason. But let's look at, uh, after that lengthy explanation about privacy, which is also why we have no uh, keyword data anymore, privacy. And so that works out well for Google. But let's look at 2 minutes and 40 seconds where he tells you what really does rank a page. Here we go. Um, but don't necessarily assume that just because there's a signal on Facebook or Twitter that Google is able to access that. A lot of pages might be blocked or there might be no follow on links or something along those lines. It was funny because there was a, an SEO that said, okay, we see a lot of links on Facebook and those are the pages that rank well, but that's correlation, that's not causation. Instead, it's probably that there's something really awesome and because there's something awesome, then it gets a lot of likes on Facebook and a lot of people decide to link to it. That's the sort of thing where the better content you make, the more people are to like it, not only in Google, but in Twitter and Facebook as well. So as far as your question, I hope that helps clarify things a little bit. Okay, so here we have the Cheshire Cat who just let the cat out of the bag, so to speak, because he may have opened a Pandora's box. Because what is it that really link, link, uh, the links? Well, there it is. What is it that ranks a social media page? One thing, like Google is the same as it ever was. Google, at its core, is an, a, a database that depends and is designed to depend on links from other websites. To rank a page and now what they have is a whole bunch of things that attenuate the effect of those links based on a bunch of rules but it's still links so it's links to Facebook pages and anything else that makes it rank now one exception that he did not address was Google Plus and they have you know of course the complete control over that social media outlet so its rules are a little bit different um, I wouldn't say that uh, links will not affect that either but obviously Google has more control and more ability to measure those interactions that they can only look at from the outside on other social networks. But in Google+, Plus, they can more accurately gauge what's true engagement and what the level of content quality is and interaction signals and all of that. So that's going to work a little bit differently. But Facebook and Twitter, anything else, you know, it's links that drives it. That's kind of the end of the story there. So, thanks for watching. This is Dave Keyes, real estate SEO expert, with latest on what's working in Google. Thanks.